video and then I'm gonna cover some video gaming for the up and coming Street Fighter 6 which everybody's like myself is excited about because I've been playing Street Fighter for a very long time and I'm considered one of the OGs of the series I've been playing um Street Fighter since 92 or excuse me not 92 um 96 yeah, I was six years old when I played Street Fighter 2. Yeah, Street Fighter 2, I believe, came out in 91, 92. And I played um, Champion Edition when it was on Sega Genesis. So I'll go way back. You know, I'm very excited. But I want to cover something that's very sensitive to me, especially in this. this and I'm, I'm glad I'm seeing this now. And I want to say shouts out to Spencer uh, Bakuli for pretty much... Um, Taking it, take initiative of actually writing a response article correcting what uh, Kotaku writer Ian Walker basically put out. Because one thing we got to do is we got to stop separating black folks, black people. Black is black, period. Okay? And um, for those of you who, who watch these leaks, uh, Kotaku writer um, Ian Walker had basically said that this Kimberly character, which you see here before you, which is a character they're going to add for Street Fighter 6 that's um getting ready to come out next year. He had the nerve to say that that's the first playable black woman in the series. But I'm here to tell you myself that this is not true. And Spencer Bakuli is pretty much um clearing that up now. Uh Ian Walker is y'all got to sense these for one of these leaks, okay? When they when they describe the roster it takes some this at face value. Unless the people on Capcom tell you what these rock, these characters are, okay, everybody can make their, speci their speculation, but that might not be what they are when the game is released. Like Ken, for example, right? They got that Ken character looking all sad and depressed. And, you know what I'm saying? They got it to where his, um, he done lost his wife and his son and all that. No, that might not be true. A leak is just a leak. It's just showing you a preview before the actual um, company releases the actual preview of the game and actually tell you themselves but let me just go over this really quick okay because again I'm one of the guys I'm one of the people who've been playing I'm an OG I'm a Street Fighter OG I've been playing Street Fighter for over 25 years okay I've been playing Street Fighter for at least about 20 years 20 or 29 because I'm 32 you know I've been playing this since the 90s but shouts out to uh, Spencer uh, Bakuli but this is our he says Kotaku, with Kotaku is one of the companies who cover these games. He's a writer. Ian Walker falsely claims Street Fighter Six will feature the series' first playable black woman. Now, this starts out reads in this latest example of how identity politics serves only to erase the history of de uh, denigrate true accomplishments. Kotaku writer Ian Walker has falsely asserted that Capcom's upcoming Street Fighter Six will feature the series' first playable black woman, despite the fact that the actual first rep of, for this demographic was fully established 25 years earlier. Yeah, so like I said, this is Street Fighter been around a long time. It's been around at least 35 years. Like at least over 30 years. Now we continue on June 2nd as part of PlayStation's June's um, 2022 State of Play event. Capcom revealed that latest trade for Greg Kashi anticipated the new property. Unfortunately, Capcom's new immediately traded for new. Okay, so that's yes. Yeah, so I know everybody's seen these leaks. Everybody's seen these on um, videos. The new Street Fighter Six looks great. So let's, let's let's read. So in addition to giving fans their first proper look at the new appearances of the series, returning cast Ryu, Ken, Zongchip, Daoshim, Ihan, Honda, Blanca, Gao, um, Chun Li, Cami, DJ, which I'm excited about too. I like DJ, Rashid, Jury, Ed, and Akuma. These supposed leaks also reveal the upcoming debut of six new World Warriors. Aside from the previously leaked Luke and Jamie, the drunken fist master who debuted in the state of the play trailer, these new challengers include Italian MMA brawler Maritza, French judo fighter Mammon, Mexican weapon wielder Lily, Russian mis uh, mystery gentleman JP, American seemingly guy inspired ninja Kimberly, and the, uh, which is the uh, the woman he's referring that uh, that guy is referring to, and the Chinese. Femi um, Fatali, A.K.I. Reporting on these new leaks for Kotaku, Walker made his but is potentially, yeah, painfully false assertion on June 3rd, writing that aforementioned Kimberly will be the series' first playable black woman. And I'm going to say this too. Um, Walker is somebody who's pretty much young. 
This is somebody, this is a, a man that's probably in between the ages of 24, in between 18 to 24. He ain't been playing Street Fighter that long. He only been playing Street Fighter when it came out for PS3 and Xbox One, Street Fighter 4. This is somebody that was not around in the 90s. He wasn't because uh, this, is, this is somebody ain't been playing it that long. You see this woman here? This is Elena. This woman came out in 97 when Street Fighter 3 was released. And let me say this now, and I'm also clear this up. For those that say um, Pira Pullum from Street Fighter EX is black, she wasn't. She was a Middle Eastern woman. Thus, to her attire. Pira Pullum is, uh, is a Middle Eastern woman with blue eyes. She's not black. She's not African at all. And Street Fighter EX actually doesn't does technically doesn't count because it wasn't um it's not part of the um the actual storyline. It's not canon. It was brought to my attention that game was a crossover game made by Akira. Yes, it's got Capcom um fighters in there like some of the World Warriors, like you got Ryu Ken, Dash and Blanca, and those um characters, right? With Bison and all those, but they're not part it's not part of the actual series. This woman is. Again, Street Fighter 3 third um new generation that came out in ninety seven. I first played this video game when it's um I played Street Fighter 3 when it was on Dreamcast. Back when my cousin Becky had a Dreamcast and she brought it over to my um, big woman's house and we played. That's when I first seen this character. And that was back in like 2000. 99, 2000. Okay. Elena was the first black woman to ever be played, be playable in the Street Fighter series. Okay. Now what Ian Walker shit did, and if you're gonna be a journalist, you gotta word your um you gotta word your you gotta word your vocabulary accordingly. That's why I said because somebody who's older, right, or is somebody who's least a more experienced uh writer would have done their research first. See, if you're gonna talk about a particular um subject, you gotta know what you're talking about. Again, Ian Walker Walker did not actually um do his research properly. If you're going to be a journalist, you got to go to point A and point B. You got to go back and look at everybody. Look at everybody in the roster before you make these type of predict, before you write that out. Because all this man is doing is separating blacks. You're trying to say that Elena didn't matter. Elena never appeared. She never existed. And that, in turn, pisses off uh, experienced Street Fighter players that's been uh, playing this game for over 20 years. You can't do that. That's journalism 101. You go to school for that. So no, Walker is somebody he didn't know what he was talking about. He should have said African-American woman. Kimberly is the first African-American black woman. But again, me, I'm, a, I'm an African-American man. I'm black. Okay? But again, Elena here is from Kenya. Now, Kenyan is black as black can get. That, that, that woman is um, based from Africa. Okay? Again, Walker White and that is just as stupid as uh, the WWE journalists. The people saying that Kofi Kingston was the first black WWE champion. Basically, forgetting all about Ron Simmons in 92 because WCW is owned by Vince McMahon. So if you forget Ron Simmons, you forget Booker T. You forget Dwayne Johnson, whose father is a is a, is a um, dark-skinned black man. No discussion. From Canada. Yeah, his mother's some one, but his daddy was black. You forget all those guys. You forget Mark Henry, that also won that belt. Yeah, we gotta. If you're a journalist, you gotta stop doing that. And this is mostly the younger generation because they don't really read nothing. Again, y'all, we in a, we in a time where people don't really do research. People don't go back and look at their history at all. They go by their own opinion and make it factual, and make other people like these younger folks, these children, believe it's true. Now let's continue on before I end the video. However, as noted above, Street Fighter's actual first playable black woman made her debut 25 years ago. Hailing from Kenya, the Capoeira, and that's another thing too. This drunken um, fist fighter, um, Jamie, he's basically using Elena style. Because he's using Capoeira. He's, he's in between Elena <coughs> and Bo Raicho. For those that play Mortal Kombat, um, there's a drunken fist fighter named Bo Raicho or Boracho. Yeah, Master Boracho. That's that's what he's uh, pretty much a, a mix up from. Jamie is pretty much a mix up. This woman style, Capra style, with Boracho's drunken fist, and he's trying to be Yin and Yang, the twins from Street Fighter Three. 
But let me continue. I digress. So Capoeira Princess Elena entered into fighting game history in 1997, appearing on core roster of Street Fighter 3 New Generation. And I'm going to say on um, Third Strike, which is the last of this series she was in, that's the most popular Street Fighter in, uh, as of now. That's even more popular than Street Fighter 2. I mean, people still play Street Fighter 2, but Street Fighter Third Strike, that's like top level. And Street Fighter Third Strike was actually re-released uh, on PS3. I believe 2004. 2003, 2004. Or 5. Right? Again, so if this, if Walker actually knows about the series, then you would have um, played it on PS3, but he don't. Not somebody who don't, who don't know, who's young, who don't know any better. But continue on. Now, further, Kimberly is not even the second playable black woman to appear in the series as the previous title, Street Fighter V, saw the introduction of Minot, a soul power studying DLC fighter who held from Egypt. Again, Egypt is located in Africa. Again, this is another black woman, beautiful black woman. Even though I don't use Minot, she's kind of difficult to use. To me, this is one of the more difficult characters to use. I was um, testing, I was um, training, I was in a, um, I was training with Minot like last week. She's hard. She's not that easy to play with. But she could be fun if you know what you're doing. But yeah, look at this beautiful black woman. You got her and you got Elena. Yeah, these two are black women. They're both located in Africa. So if you're going to say play with black, you can't use black. You got to say black American. Again, journalism 101, have your writing worded. You got to word your writing accordingly. Okay? Again, this is somebody that need to be taught a lesson. I don't know who. Again, if you're gonna cover Street Fighter, you gotta actually know what you're talking about. That's all I'm gonna say. If you're gonna, if you're gonna write about a video game, you gotta go from point A to point B. Before you write an article, you gotta go and look at your history. You gotta do your research. And I don't understand how you can miss Minot. Minot was just recent. You know how many people play Street Fighter Five? How many times it's on YouTube? Like I don't understand that at all. Again, man, like who? I gotta see who this person is, man, because yeah, this this Ian Walker. Look, bro. Again, you have not been playing it that long, man. I, I'm serious. Minot is a is a black woman out of Egypt. Egypt is black women. They're black. Look, I've been playing fighting games for almost thirty years. Elena is Kenyan. Kimberly is African American. There's a difference. No, it's not. It's not. There's no difference. Black is black. Again, y'all gotta stop. Separating black people, man. Stop it. Stop separating blacks. That's stupid, man. Because, again, our ancestors all come from Africa. Again, African Americans are a result of people that have been transported out of Africa through the slave ships. Again, this is somebody that don't have not never studied black culture at all. Never, They never went to college to study black culture. You can't be doing that. I'm sorry, brother... I'm sorry, bro. That's like, that's wrong. You can't be doing it. And my thing is, again, how are you going, how are you not going to talk about Minot? Minot is from Egypt. That's African. It's not a difference. And my thing is, why you didn't say African-American on the first title? And I know you're not black. See, again, this person is not black neither. You can tell by the, um, you can tell by this, his logo. They're not black. So they don't understand. Again, stop separating black folks. You, you got to stop doing that. Because, EM, EM, all you're doing, bro, is that you, you're basically programming these, these kids, right? These nine, these six, seven years old that's playing, that's going to be playing Street Fighter 6. You're telling them that characters that are born in Kenya and Egypt that's located in Africa are not black. That's what you're basically saying. Again, us as African Americans, our ancestors originate in Africa. Okay? So, Kimberly is no different than these two. Again, yeah, both black women. Now, see, if they would have decided to put Elena in here as a base roster, you wouldn't even be saying that. Stop. Again, I'm going to say this nicely. I've, I've, see, I had to do this for WWE when it came to Kofi Kingston because these people don't understand. Again, Ian Walker, stop separating black people. Because you're somebody who's clearly not a black person at all. You're not. So you don't understand what it's like to be our skin color. You don't understand what we got to go through. And I'm going to say this before I end the video. The main problem with black folks is that they go through identity crisis. This is why brown skin, dark skin blacks always have a problem with light skin or brown skin. Because 
They feel that light-skinned blacks, the half-breeds that are mixed with white, are treated better than them because of the color of their skin. He says, you celebrate Street Fighter 6, including the franchise, first played with black women, and suddenly everyone wants to question your Street Fighter cred because you forgot about Elena? I've been playing fighting games for almost 30 years. Elena's Kenyan, and Kimberly's African. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is a stupid, this is ignorant. No, he's just trying to make up for him making a mistake. No, the man who just wrote this um this article, he knows he got some sense. Because a Walker, again, this man is again, this is somebody who is not black. This is not a black man. This is not somebody who got black in his family. Because ain't no black person gonna be like, for example, right? Sonic Fox. You never see Sonic Fox. If this is Sonic Fox writing an article, he'll never separate Atlanta. He'll never say Kimberly is the first. He wouldn't do that because he knows how stupid that is. Again, this is this this is this will be somebody who's non-black. Again, they gotta stop doing that. I'm I'm serious, y'all. Stop separating black folks. Black is black, period. If you've been born with an ounce of black, you're black. Same goes for people who are um who are mixed, who are half breeds or biracial, whatever you want to call them. Somebody whose daddy was black but their mother's white, they still gonna be black. This is, this is, again, this whole thing is just stupid. It's retarded. I'm sorry, this, you say it, it really is. You say that same thing happened every time black women used to ask for representation in Overwatch before Sojourn, he could, he, he could tell you. Symmetra is Indian. Pharaoh is Egyptian. They do not reflect the unique and separate culture of African diaspora in America, which rarely receives attention in games. But this is what Ian got to understand. Street Fighter is played all over the world. Now, that's another thing, too, man. You got people who play this game all over the world. They played in Europe, right? So you got Paris and France and Italy. There's black folks everywhere. See, again, this can come off as being offensive. See, he's trying to cover. He know he messed up, and now he's trying to cover his tracks. Again, see, again, I got to school Eon Walker, and I hope he watches this video. He says, I fully expect that I'm not explaining this well. Enough. Okay, so if you ain't explaining well, why would you say it in the first place? And frankly, it's not really my place to act like I act like an expert on the subject. So please read this blog. He added linking to a Kotaku piece, which appears to lack a header, a header, yeah, header image. Thus, its odd preview appears as a blank square, wherein a 23-year-old black woman took issue with took issue with Overwatch lack of a female character who specifically represented her own. Little defying spirit criteria. I don't know what that has to do with this on uh, with the subject, but again, Ian Walker, man, you gotta do better than that. It says if you still do and if you still don't care, Walker ultimately concluded, please reconsider giving me shit and simply celebrate that Street Fighter continues to grow more and more diverse every game. Again, bro, you messed up. You don't word it like that. Because again, let me let me again I'm gonna say this one last time. Street Fighter is played all over the world. Japan, Tokyo, you got people in Africa that actually play this game too. And again, that comes off, this comes off as offensive to them as well. Again, if you're going to be a journalist, you got to word your, you got to pick your words wisely. You should have said black African American woman, not black. Because again, you're separating people, you're separating skin color. You can't be doing that. Again. This is just as dumb as saying Kobe Keynes is the first black WWE champion. He's not because The Rock was there long before he got there. When The Rock when The Rock and Booker T were champions and Ron Simmons, Kobe Kingston was a child. You hear Kobe Keynes himself acknowledge himself as the first black WWE champion. He's not going to do that. It's just stupid. Again, this man here needs to be checked. And again, I, I guarantee you he's not a black person at all. This is not a black man saying this. That's why he, he he says it the way he does. But again, man, if you gonna say that, you gotta do your research, okay? You can't be doing that because again, the disrespect Elena is effed up. It's really is is screwed up. You can't be doing that. Again, Street Fighter been around for years. You say you've been playing almost thirty years. Then how could you forget Elena? No, Kimberly is no different from Elena when her ancestors originated in Africa, where Elena's from. Okay, can't be doing that. And I understand that Elena may not be as popular. She's not in that many Street Fighters, but come on now. And then 
You and Minaj, this woman here knows he don't even talk about her. Minaj is just a recent character, man. She's new. Everybody knows about Minaj. Again, to in not include Minaj is, is stupid. So again, I want to say shout out to this blogger here that that corrected him. Shout out to Sprissa Bakuli. This person here got some sense. Because Ian Walker, again, that's somebody who clearly is young. Clearly don't know what he's talking about. He's clearly lying. He's been playing that game for almost 30 years. Uh, this, he's probably, I, I, I can almost bet you that's a uh, Caucasian man. It would be white folks saying that. It would be a white man saying that. Again, you, you, don't, you don't have the right to be saying that. I'm sorry, Neil. You could offend. That's offensive. This comes off almost, this is, this is almost offensive. Because again, you tell them black people, and you you tell them black folks in America that somebody in Africa is not black. That's what you're basically saying. You might as well say that, like uh, Ian Walker might as well say that uh, American blacks aren't are not black. That black is only in America. Black is not Africa. Black is not Nigerian. Black is not black is not Kenyan. You know, black is not Egypt. That's what you, that's what he's basically saying. It's ignorance, man. It really is. But again. It will be somebody that's non-black. Because a black man re writing that article, they would not say it at all. They will acknowledge Elena and they'll acknowledge um they acknowledge Minot. They would never say that uh this character here is the first black woman. They would never do that. No, what it is, he's trying to create his own fantasy. We gotta stop doing that. And this is Ian Walker's trying to create his own fantasy, trying to create his own uh image. Again, when you do that, that's dangerous. Because you're telling these young kids that there's a difference being black. If you're African, you're not black. That's what you're basically saying. Can't be doing that. But that's it, y'all, man. That's the video. I just had to clear that 